now we are discussing project lombok so what is project lombok basically so it is java based library which provide boilerplate code so you do not need to write whole code by yourself uh, for example it provide a boilerplate code like getter setters constructor builder classes and lots of things so for that purpose this is the document this all kind of annotation provided by project lombok not null clean up getter setter to string equal hash code yeah you should go with all this annotation what i am covering here i am covering the data annotation which include two string equal hash code getter setter and required uh, require uh, arc constructor these all kind of annotation present inside only one annotation called data and after that the builder okay or i can just write two string annotation get a set a separate annotation but i don't want to do that i am that's why i am using that only one annotation annotation called data i direct data so how we set up about uh, it so for that purpose they just provide one dependency maven dependency so this is the dependency they are just provided okay so just copy it and put it in your project sorry i didn't start my stress so yeah till it start so yeah uh, how we install uh, how we install it inside our eclipse okay so for that purpose they just give nice documentation uh, you just need to uh, download one jar for it okay so you just need to click download here and download the jar okay i al already downloaded jar for it okay so this is the jar i already downloaded okay so yeah now uh, just first finish with configuration okay so whenever you are just double clicking it it start up like this and you need to specify the location okay so you need to provide the location of your sts bundle so this is my exe file just select it and yeah you show it it will show it here and just install and update so it takes some time and you get installed successful that's it and after that just uh, click on quit installer so after installing the lombok if you go to the project at that time you just see that there is a lombok.jar present inside your sts uh, the when it is present at that time your installation is complete if it is not at, no, so it is not completed okay so after that we need to remember we need to add a dependency again so yeah just don't forget yeah, i am copying it again and pasting it inside the pom.xml so this is the pom.xml yeah i am adding it and uh, what i do i am just deleting this both version because uh, i want to take care of this by spring boot starter okay yeah just it just imported uh, the lombok project is here so what we need to do we need to configure our eclipse for the for the lombok purpose so for that purpose we need to click right click on our project go to the properties after that just type annotation Okay, so here Maven annotation processing enable this and after that annotation processing just enable the project specific setting uh, click here if it is not selected you need to select it okay and just apply and close yeah it want to update the configuration sometime you need to restart your STS for uh, if it is first time so I am again restarting it okay it will take some time Okay, uh, so whenever um, your project start, uh, I think we have already one entity class. I don't know. I just need to check it. Uh, let's see if we have. So I'll see. Yeah, I think I write one domain. Yeah, we have domain. That is student.java. So we already have the 
domain so in this program we just write two string we just override the two string method as well as write the getter and setter so i don't want to do that because it is again a shit code because you need to write it or generate it by yourself so what i do here now i am using project lombok so for that purpose i am using data annotation yeah it is lombok so whenever you write data annotation just see the outline of this project so you see here that there is get id same method get id set id city grade get city and as well as there is equal method can equal method to string method student constructor there is also student these all are provided by these all provided by project lombok uh, you can also use a builder okay so yeah this is the builder automatically created builder so builder is nothing but design pattern so it's like if you are creating the object with the help of getter setter or with the help of constructor so it is like same pattern uh, builder pattern so you just need to create the object and you just need to write student builder and build it by yourself so that's what kind of functionality provided by spring boot so i'm not doing any kind of example i'm just creating one kind of object like uh, for example i'm creating the new student Just need to write void display method here. So what I do? Sorry, typo. So what I do? I just created the student here. Yeah, look at this student ID's name string. It is automatically generated by Lombok. So it's like ID is one zero one name is uh, Pratik sorry it's string again I live in Pune Pune and I always get a uh, C grade in class so it is because it's long we need to write L this is the Java logic <laughs> you need to do it now let's write the builder code so i am creating the builder here student okay student dot there is one method called builder okay which is provided by lombok okay so this is the method okay this is provided by lombok that is builder okay so i am just using same method builder dot if i want to set the id i need to set it so it's like 1000 yeah okay so yeah that's how you set your id or dot if you want to set the city so it's again same it's like mumbai or if you want to set uh, any kind of name so again name should be uh, shubham okay and you need to build that object after that it going to write you a student okay so that is the build object and that is the that is the constructor base object so it is hard coded you need to pass anyway each and every value if you don't you need to pass null but you can do it directly here you can pass anything or whatever you want i just don't pass your grade okay so that's how Lombok work.